Blessings, everybody. Thank you so much for joining the channel today, or a channel within a channel, as I've been saying. Welcome to Jazz and a Cup of Coffee, where every Sunday morning I present all things jazz, talk about music, jazz, jazz fusion, jazz funk, biographies of jazz, books on jazz, that sort of thing, events, movies related to, upcoming releases. So... Let's dive in before we get into today's CD of choice. I will give you a hint. It is a jazz fusion release of a particular artist. So it's a, a person's name. And it's what I think to be their magnum opus. But we'll get to that. So let's talk about today's brand of coffee and blend. So I'm, I'm pouring it as we speak because I woke up late. And by late, I thought it was 5.30 when, is, when I usually get up, but it was actually 6.30 because I totally forgot about this cursed daylight saving time. Forward, shrink, spring forward, fall back, and all that. All right, so coffee is poured. I've been using this lately. Much better, French press, much better than the, um, the typical uh, drip thing. Coffee, uh, Mr. Coffee Stall Coffee Maker, even though it's a Walmart knockoff brand. So today's brand is Fresh Market. They have about 120 or so um, nationwide stores in 22, 23, 24 states, something like that. Um, so they're they're pretty good. Um, actually, I'll say they're excellent. Um, if you're familiar with Whole Foods, they're comparable to them. But the difference is they're not owned by Amazon, so that's a, that's a plus. And, all right, so I told you the brand, the bland, bland, <laughs> it's not bland. The blend, rather, is blueberry cinnamon, one of my favorites. There used to be this great coffee place that sold whole bean coffee by the airport here in New Orleans that did a, a, just a blueberry, no cinnamon, it was excellent, but uh, that, that, that place has been gone since probably right before, right after Katrina. So let's give it a sip and see how, how I brewed it. Oh, that's so good. So if you can, if you're, if you're a connoisseur, don't have to be, if you're a lover of, I don't consider myself a connoisseur, just a lover of coffee. Um, and uh, so again, it's here to share with you um, my love of coffee and of course jazz, because they go so well together. So let's talk about today's CD. And like I'd like to do, like I like to do, sorry, what I like to do every time, again, only my fourth episode, is tease you with hints about what the album is. So the first hint is that it, the overall base background color is a nice solid green. The guitarist on the cover, um, through his pose and demeanor and stance, seems to be suggesting he's a Sigma male because he's ignoring the woman behind him and he's looking towards us. His, he doesn't look so happy. And on the back, we have said gentleman and said female sitting at a table with a glass of wine and a bottle. And he's looking at her still like he's ticked off and her hand is this close to his face, to his beard. And he, as I said, he still doesn't look happy and it, as if he's saying, I, I, don't touch me right now. Um, Again, Demeter suggesting a Sigma male, if you believe in that sort of thing. I don't, I think it's just, you know, people like to label. But anyway, and this is, as I said, jazz fusion, but it also has some Latina or Latin sounds to it in the percussion and flamenco style. Um, if you haven't guessed, I'm talking about, sorry for the glare, Al Demiola's masterpiece, magnum opus, Elegant Gypsy, and the title is perfect because there's some elegant music going on here. So let's talk about the songs track by track, shall we? So the first song is Fabulous, Seven Minutes and Change, almost an epic flight over Rio. Again, cheers. This coffee is so good. And you can't see him, but he's joined us today, my cat Bowie, being real sweet. He's curious, I got all this stuff here. Of course, he's gonna be curious. So, flight over Rio. Soothing tones are in the intro. Um, and I'm wondering if the band Tool copied this because 
I've, I've listened to this so many times and then listening to it again a couple days ago and I'm taking my notes and I hear that, and I can't remember what Tool song it is, the intro and the outro of the song, it sounds very much like something Tool lifted. Um, I wanna say it's um, the song that has, I know the pieces fit, the, the lyrics, it, it sounds something like that. So if, if they did copy, it sounds very similar. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but Al did it first. All right, so you have some rhythmic Latin beats. Um, then the guitar kicks in. The soloing is just superb, it's dynamite. It blows away anything, and none of this is blasphemous, but for me personally, this blows away anything Carlos Santana has ever done it. And I love Carlos Santana. Um, it's This song has some elements of heavy metal jazz fusion. I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. Um, it's just great, it's just fabulous. Um, it's heavy yet elegant at the same time. There's this to and fro at one point, later on after the solo, between the guitar, excuse me, and the other instruments. It's like this fight for, for Sorry, it's like this fight for supremacy between the guitar and the other um, members of the band. And then you get this drum and percussion solo um, with electric piano in the background after that is fabulous. And then you get the shift back to the outro to that tool like, um, you know, I, you gotta listen to the record to quote the Boston album. Anyway, next is Midnight Tango, another song. This album is great start to finish, but so this begins with an electric piano intro. It's a lovely. There's this tango style electric guitar going on. It's so warm and inviting. And then it shifts, so there's like a part two, the guitar. There's this fancy odd plucking going on or strumming. I love it. Then you get the flamenco style with that Latina bass accompanying the piano. It's wonderful. Then you get the semi blues tones from Al. So there's all these different textures and vibes and moods going on, um, constantly shifting through this piece. Then you get this qu quasi heavy piece but it's also slow and soothing at the same time. And it ends with a, a subtle low in the mix shredding from Al, um, and then it fades out. And then as a part three after that, you think the song's over. No, you get a percussion and drums uh, solo. Yeah, it's in the spotlight, no guitar. And then that fades out and the song's over. This is just fabulous. The next song, Mediterranean Sundance, there's this flamenco intro. Some of it's quite fast, it's very good. Not that it has to be fast to be good. This is virtuosity here. Um, the whole album is, is, is full of Al's virtuosity. Um, but there's, some, there's, a, there's a virtuosity here. It's just wonderful and it takes hold of you. It possesses you. Um, but it's not just virtuosity without soul. It's got lots of soul, grit, heart, spirit, whatever you want to call it. You have to have both, right? He's not showing off, in other words. He's just caught up in the pleasure of what it means to play guitar. It's just a marvel. Next is my favorite song, and I know this is cliched, but Race with the De Race with Devil, no the Race with Race with Devil on Spanish Highway. The, a brief but really cool bass intro with cymbals from the drum kit. Then the guitar kicks in almost right away. You have lots of textures in the song, uh, and then again you have like the previous song. You have this to and fro, uh, but this time between the bass and the drums only with um, Al's guitar shredding, which again is marvelous. This song is full of shifts. Then you got a shift to a smooth, slow, bluesy, jazz style guitar. It sets up a great mood for a while. Then it gets heavy again. Al goes off and gets nuts and goes to town. Then it gets slower again um, with, but with fast drums and percussion. Then you get the solo with lots of sustain that just takes off. Um, and it's brief, but the, the Miola goes nuts here, it, but it's too brief. I wish it was a little longer. Then the synths kick in with percussion and bass, and then the guitar returns to that slow bluesy jazz that we love from him. And then after that, again, more shifts, right? You get guitar with, with the sustain comes back and some more to and fro between the bluesy and the shredding. It's just wonderful. And then after that, you get slower guitar to follow, which is just beautiful. Um, and then, you get sustain from the, the guitar that's heavy and then it fades out. Just a marvelous song, my favorite song on the album, as it is many who love Al Di Miola. The next is Lady of Rome, Sister of Brazil. This is a short, elegant acoustic piece. It's like a minute and 40 seconds, something like that. It's lovely, it's just lovely. I, oh, I wish it was a little longer. But anyway, it sets, It's think of it as an intro to the next song, which is the epic song, Nine Minutes and Change. 
Elegant Gypsy Suite, so sort of the title track, right? You have a slow intro, and it's, it's like you can sway and dance to this part, right? It's very Latin-based, I love it. it it's, it's, it's got that tango quality to it, it's exciting. Then the cool bass comes in with the quasi-fast um, finger-picking um, from Al, and then you get some heavy guitar with electric piano. The, and the, the, the guitar here in pieces is dreamy. It's just, it's just marvelous. It's wonderful. It's just ec ecstatic. It's exquisite. Excuse me. Um, then the percussion comes in. That's been in the background. It comes a little bit more to the forefront, I think, and it's wonderful. And then if we talk about the effects that Al's using here, I'm not sure what they are, but it's very odd sounding, but not odd in a negative way. It's, it's, it's an odd tuning or odd effects or an odd plucking or strumming or guitar style, but I do, I, I like it. It's, it's very unique. I like it. Um, it's satisfying despite its oddness. Um, and then when you get to the middle of the song, it gets back to that slow bluesy jazz from the previous song. Not the same exact notes, but it, it's that same feel and vibe, which is amazing. Uh, the tones are just laced with gravitas. It's, it's serious. Right, it, it, Al means business. Um, wonderful. Um, the the virtuosity here is just off the charts. Not just the song, but the whole album. Um, and then you have splashes of synthesizers in the song in, in moments. I wish there's a little bit more, um, but it it, it works. Um, Think, I don't want to compare this to Rush, but think of the way in YYZ you have a splash of synths after the bum, 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 right? Uh, after the um, the big drum part, right? It's just, it, it works so well. And then, it, and then Alex takes off with that, you know, pick across the strings moment that he has a Van Halen shredding style. It works so well. It, you, when you have lots of heavy guitar, you want your synthesizers to not overpower that. And so Al does a great job of having the synths here not overpower the guitar. And it, I just wish it was a little bit longer. It's wonderful. So I'm not comparing to Rush, but just talking about synthesizers in comparison in conjunction with guitar. Um, and then you get the return to the dreamy, slow, bluesy um, style of the song um, after that um, splashes of synthesizer and you could perhaps dance to this a bit as well. It's just wonderful. Then after that, you get that guitar sustain again and some heaviness returns to the guitar. And then you get some percussion um, flashes of brilliance that's warring with the electric piano. It's marvelous. And then the song ends with um, a jazzy fused blues heaviness and then like a crash and then the song's over. Um, Great ending to the song. Great way to end an album. I love this album. On, on, on many days, this is my favorite jazz fusion um, or jazz Latin, jazz fusion based album. Regardless, it's it's fabulous. Um, let's look at the um, players on the album. You have Jan Hammer, Steve Gadd, Anthony Jackson, Mingo Lewis, Lenny White, Barry Miles, and Paco De Lucia or Luca. Um, just fabulous. Um, all-star cast, if you ask me. Um, so again, here's the album cover. And then there's Al again saying, don't touch me. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. Have a blessed Sunday. Take care now. Bye.